one thing you need to watch out is if you're trying to spawn in enemies while you have another model in place, um, there is a lot of crashing from that. So um, things you want to avoid is having a model that you're wearing and then setting the uh, spawn to be a follower mode. So uh, nine times out of 10, it's going to crash there. Uh, so if you want to have some cool pictures and stuff where uh, you can be Cochin Congo, then maybe have a whole bunch of Mongol followers, you probably want to have them set in either default mode or player faction. So let's give that a demonstration here. So I'm going to leave them in default. And let's get basic Mongol Raider, which is, uh, this is based off the original list that Jedi Josh puts in. Uh, whenever you download this model, uh, this app. So, uh, basic Mongol Raider, set a default, then you can spawn in. And they spawn usually about maybe 10 meters away from you. Something like that, or 10 feet around that. Default means that uh, they don't recognize me as uh, a Mongol myself. That actually, uh, if you want to roleplay, you probably want them to set it to player faction, but not follower faction. So let's try this again. The reason why a lot of models will start running as soon as you spawn them is they're looking for an empty spot where. Uh, they're distanced away from other objects, so uh, you're going to see that sometimes. But anyways, I am uh, with my ally here. I can spawn in quite a few, too, um, for the sake of photos. I could spawn them all around here. As long as you kind of keep them separate from each other, you will avoid crashes. Um, if you spawn just kind of press the enter button and let them all, all spawn into one spot, you can sometimes crash the game, so you don't want to do that. Anyways, uh, this is what my army looks like. You can see they kind of evenly spread out like this. So if you want them to maybe group up in a different way, you can perhaps just put an enemy in place where they'll uh, uh, kind of move and move to attack and they'll be doing something different, so. If you want to make uh, demos where you have Mongols and Samurai fighting each other, this is also how to do it. You would uh, set one faction to be your ally and then the Mongol faction would be uh, what attacks them, so. If you want to delete these, uh, there's a high chance of crashing if you decide to delete all spawn NPCs or even delete last spawn NPCs. So just be aware that either way of these, uh, it can crash. Um, one way to, I guess, mitigate uh, delays and hassles and stuff is just to uh, get a mod that gets rid of all like the intro videos that happens when you have to uh, restart the game. Um, but this stuff happens uh, and there's not much you can control about it if, uh, you know, deleting uh, the last spawns, NPCs causes issues. So, uh, 